it's one degree from us really so if we look at our two minutes star finder we can see the same thing here and there's Antares just to the left of our due south a bearing a 181 so we have some information and off of the um, star finder we can also measure 18 degrees above the horizon uh, these are things that we can put on the site form or use as a guide to the site form so let's go farther and uh, do some more calculating which really means going into the HO229 and coming up with the distance computed to that star. We can compare the two and in comparison we can find out where we are. We now have enough information to go into the site reduction tables for marine navigation latitudes 30 to 45 and we can figure out the problem using this table without a lot of math so let's do that we have a lot of information now on the site form now the site form tells us that we have what's known as a local hour angle which means the distance from us to the star uh, along the longitude line is one degree we know its declination is 26 22.5 that's pretty well the same declination and latitude pretty well means the same thing but this is a south declination where our longitude is a north so that means contrary so we can go into the tables now with this information one degree local hour angle declination 26 and latitude 45 now when we subtracted our 30 degree longitude from the GHA of the star we combined them really so now we know the declination the latitude and the combined Greenwich hour angle and our longitude so let's go into the tables and take a look at them okay here we can see contrary that means we're north the body south of us or south period southern hemisphere the G the local hour angle is one degree and the declination is 26 so we can read off this figure a group of figures and put them into our site form from the H the 2229 we've got the information of eighteen fifty nine point six with a declination correction of a minus five nine point nine and an azimuth of one seven nine so we have to use these figures to figure out the difference from twenty six to twenty two point five and to come up with a correction to the information that we took out of the book 1859.6 I'll show you how to do that using interpolation table so that we don't have to do any high math so we took these figures out of the book the 229 
the height for declination of 26 was 1859.6. There was a D correction, which means declination correction, of a minus 559.9 and an azimuth of the body bearing of 179. So we have to use these figures and correct them. This is the height for 26, but we have to correct it for an additional 22.5 um, because that's the true deck. So we use an interpolation table to do that. We go in for the deck increments, which is 22.5. We have to go into the increment corrections and correct for that 22.5. So we find 22.5 and our table said we have to go to 59.9. So we go over to 50 column and we add additional 18.8. I had 18.9. I made a mistake, which is very small. Okay, then we have to go over to this correction here, which is a smaller correction, because we have to correct for 59.9. We already corrected for 50, so have to go for 9 now, which is this column. Then we find 0.9, which is this column. So the other correction is 3.7. So the total correction then on the site form is 18.9, said 8 in the book, and a 3.7. Now these were minus because this was a minus. So then we subtract these two figures from the computed height and we get the computed height total of 1837.0. So that's where the things come from. Now we had an azimuth of 179, but if you noticed, it was to the left of our um, meridian longitude, so it has to be subtracted from 360. So the bearing to the body then is 181. And this is what is shown also on the star finder. You can see it's to the left and it's 181 degrees from our south line or one degree over from our south line which is 180. You can see that it's roughly 18 high so we actually got almost correct information from the star finder. Certainly enough to support and say, hey, what we did in the site form must be correct. So that's how you work the site form. Thank you.